how does the body detoxify? The body actually utilizes an organ system to eliminate toxic waste. And it involves not just the colon but and intestines, but it also involves the lungs, the skin, the kidneys, and the liver. In fact, on a daily basis, the human body removes the most amount of toxins through the lungs. So breathing is very important for us to remove toxins on a daily basis because that is the way that our body will get rid of the most. So engaging in activities that forces us to take deep breaths is very, very important in helping our body to maintain a toxic-free environment. Also, the lungs are the primary way that our body controls blood pH. So maintaining an alkaline blood pH is very important for health and people today are very into alkaline food and alkaline water, but the primary way, way that our body controls blood pH is through the lungs. So again, really important to engage in some kind of activity that forces us to take deep breath, whether it's yoga, meditation, uh, walk, exercise, anything that helps you take deep breath, really important. Um, I mean, I think we all agree that taking a deep breath makes us feel very good because it's a way that the body can release and release toxins. Now, the skin is our largest organ. And not everybody thinks of the skin as an organ, but the, the skin is our largest organ. And we are always permeating something out through the skin, whether we see it or not. Of course, if you live in warmer climates, you see it more than not. And so you tend to see at the end of the day, do you have a little bit of an oily film on your skin, especially in the face? And that's a good thing. Because when we talk about toxins, we usually talk about two different types. Those that are fat soluble and those that are water soluble. Now the water soluble toxins are easier for our body to get rid of. The more fluids that you drink and the more you go to the restroom, the more you flush out these water soluble toxins. Now, the fat-soluble toxins are difficult for us to get rid of because they accumulate in our fat cells. And so these are the ones that we usually are concerned with. These are the ones that are usually things like pesticides, dioxins, PCBs, mercury. These are fat-soluble. And because they accumulate in our cells, they become dangerous to our health. And underneath our skin, there's a whole layer of fat. And when we perspire, we can actually remove some of those fat-soluble toxins they have deposited into those fat cells underneath our skin. So really important uh, for us to help our body perspire on a regular basis because it helps our liver and kidneys not have to deal with those toxins that we can remove via the skin. Now, there's a bit of a problem there because we live in a society that doesn't like to sweat. And that's not a good thing because the body sends toxins to the skin on a daily basis. In other words, people don't get to choose where we send our toxins. We can't say, oh, I'm going to send all my toxins to my colon. Well, you don't get to say that. Your body sends toxins through your lungs, obviously, because that's the way it removes the most, and through the skin, kidneys, colon, and liver. So really important to help the body remove those toxins from the skin once they are there because if not then if you're not creating circulation if you're not perspiring and they're accumulating in the skin then the immune system gets involved because they accumulate uh, to high levels and then people get rashes and things like that that's the immune system usually reacting to something in the skin so it's important to support that kind of detoxification through the lungs and through the skin through certain activities hopefully on a regular basis now all the fluids go through the kidneys and all the solids go through the colon. And then there's the liver. Technically, the liver is not what we call an excretory organ. In other words, things don't technically leave the body via the liver. But it's probably one of the most important organs when it comes to detoxification because one of its important jobs is to filter out and neutralize chemical toxins that are circulating in your blood so that they don't harm you. So it's really important to support all of these organ systems in order to support the body's natural detoxification process because it doesn't just use one of these organs, it uses them all.